today's workout is going to consist of some push jerks and rope climbs. In this couplet, we're going to have uh, three different parts to the workout. The workout in its entirety does have a 16 minute cap. So you have 16 minutes to get this work done. That should be enough of time if you choose your scales correctly. Now today, we're gonna to go ahead and start off with one round of 30 push jerks and three rope climbs. The weight is going to start at 115 for the men and 75 for the women. Once you finish that round, we move into the second part, which is now going to be two rounds. The weight goes up by 10 pounds total, five to each side, and this time you're gonna complete two rounds of 20 push jerks at 125 and 85, followed by two rope climbs. You're gonna move through that couplet, and as soon as you finish those two rounds, we move into the last couplet. The last couplet is three rounds of 10 push jerks at 135, 95, and one rope climb. Again, this workout has a 16 minute time cap. Now, we're gonna talk exclusively about the scales. Today, for the rope climbs, when we scale this, we're gonna go ahead and scale it a multitude of ways, okay? You can go ahead and go into the athlete notes for a comprehensive list of all the scales. If you choose to scale the push jerk, just note that the first weight is whatever you decide to start with, and then you'll add 10 pounds, five to each side, each time you progress to the next section. With the rope climbs, you can go ahead and do a rope climb each round, just one. So instead of that first three rope climbs, you just do one each time. You can also do one 10 foot rope climb uh, each round, and that means that you are actually going 10 feet up. If you're somebody who's still working on rope climb attempts, you're gonna go ahead and do the same number that corresponds to the section you're at. For instance, that first section has 30 push jerks and three rope climbs. That means for that section, you'll do three rope climb attempts. From there, we can go ahead and do rock climbers, and that can be three rock climbers per rope climb. If you're doing that first section, three rope climbs equals nine rock climbers. If we're doing rock climbers fully in its entirety, that means we're gonna jump up, we're gonna be hanging from the bar, bringing our legs all the way out and up without assistance. If three times the amount is too much, we can go ahead and drop it down to two rock climbers per rope climb. And if we need to modify that, we can go ahead and modify the same reps. You can do three modified rock climbers or two modified rope climbers each round. And that means you're gonna stand close to a post. We're gonna jump up. We're gonna go ahead and walk ourselves up using the post to help us getting our feet above or at, if you don't feel comfortable, and then coming right back down. Our final scale for the rope climbs is going to be seven ring rows per rope climb. So in that first part of the workout that has three rope climbs, you need to complete 21 ring rows. So we have a lot of options here. We are going to be really focusing on the pulling aspect um, or the hanging aspect of the rope climb. So as you choose your scale, choose wisely and do the best to challenge yourself in being uncomfortable. This workout is gonna be fun, but it's fast, faster than you want to. So make sure you capitalize in the areas that you have a strength. For me, I'm gonna go ahead and push jerk at an even pace and then try to push it on the ropes. For you, you might go ahead and push it on the push jerk and then go ahead and take your time through the rope climbs. Go ahead and lean into those strengths. And remember, if you want to change your body, you gotta be slightly uncomfortable.